Hi, welcome to Tea with Tamara. It is super early on this wonderful Wednesday, um, October 4th. And so like, I kind of just wanted to touch base with you guys because I will be live again later being interviewed by Angela Lalaria about the magical business method. But I just kind of want to talk to you about something. Um, so my voice is changing as the second book comes out this year. Um, and now I, I, I realize how much I want to work with moms who are ready to break the status quo of what society, you know, deems as our everyday, right? Like, go to work, clean the kids, clean the house, make sure everything's perfect, cook the dinner. Get, anyway, um, to find out more, watch the interview. But today I just wanted to talk to you about um, a little bit of magic that occurred yesterday for me. Um, and so last week was a little bit uh, different. It was a little difficult. It was a little bit um, uncomfortable for me as I was moving away into this new role in my life. And I started to get into a scarcity or lack mindset. I honestly did. I started to think, oh, I need to start watching everything again. I need to be really cautious. I need to like worry. I started to worry, worry about where my clients were gonna come from, worry about where money was gonna come from. I was having conversations with my husband. And now if you know anything about me in the last 10 months, uh, scarcity is the last place I want to find myself. I prefer to be in full trust, knowing that everything's going to be okay, nothing bad can happen, and all my needs are met. So as I was getting into this little crouch of like, oh, the what ifs, and, and I'm not going to be able to do this, and you know, I'm taking two weeks off in October, and how am I going to serve to the capacity that I want to serve with? So anyway, I go to the author castle uh, last night, and... She had picked up from Alaska these beautiful quartz geodes, and we were going to look at them, and she had everybody bring this, this amazing trunk sale with all of this beautiful jewelry and amazing artifacts, and, and, and you know, it really was energetically the most beautiful uh, place to be last night. So, you know, I'm picking up jewelry, and I'm looking at it, and I can't lie, the price tags were huge. That's my first thought, right? Oh, this is great. I'm not going to be able to afford anything here, <laughs> right? So already there I was living in my scarcity mindset, doing, hi, Lydia, doing all my like, oh, there's just no ways. Sometimes, friends, the universe has a plan for you. And the most important piece is when you're listening, when you can hear it. And it's going to make me emotional because I happen to just be trying on talking to people. And so my totem, what is like the one thing that represents me is stars, right? We are, come from Stardust, um, A Knight's Tale, one of my favorite movies with Heath Ledger, may you rest in peace, um, is, is, you know, when he was in the, the block at the beginning and his dad was like just kind of standing there beside him. He was just hanging out and he said, you know, William, you were made from stars. You can change your stars anytime, right? And I truly believe we can change our stars just like that. In the Magical Business Method, I have a fairy wand on my cover with a star directly on it. So as I was trying on these beautiful rings, this is the one that I found. I'm gonna cry. What are the chances that they only bring a certain amount? Um, oh, Roberta, that just makes my heart burst. Uh, she says she signed two clients this week. Thank you for releasing my stardust. This is what I do. My stardust is helping you find your stardust, right? And so I tried on this beautiful ring and it had a star on it. I gotta make it look pretty right now. I'm gonna take a picture when I get home this weekend. And I knew, I knew this was the universe's way of inviting me back to a beautiful place of belief and trust and, and being willing to take action. Now, the key here is that when the universe is speaking to you, are you listening, right? At any moment, I could have looked at that ring and said, there's no way you know, we don't necessarily have the financial capacity to take that on right now, but I didn't. Instead, I looked at this ring as a gift, a sign, a universal calling to come back, back to my home, back to the place where they, you know, 
have placed me, which is that we are all capable of doing this. We are all capable of creating massive shifts and changes in the lives of others, being in the service of something greater than us, stepping into our stardust, shining our light. You guys all have a gift as well. And when you stand in that gift and when you allow your stardust out and you allow it to shine, magic is there. That's the peace. This is where we can all bring ourselves back to a place of, of truth, of authenticity. And it doesn't matter what your gift is. Like, you know, it could be anything. It could be doing hair. It could be doing accounting. It could be, you know, working for somebody and feeling absolutely like enthralled with the vision and the mission that is set out in front of you. It could be launching your own business, coaching. It could be anything as long as you're standing in your gift. So when I received this ring last night from the universe, I realized that I have not been living in that light in the last week and I'm here to honor you all today and tomorrow as I launch the magical business method to pull myself back into this space so that I can be present to serve with my stardust so if you are ready to step into your stardust and you're ready to find out who you're meant to serve please do not hesitate to step into this light that I'm here to offer you because this is what I'm here to help with this is my mission it's what climbs my mountain every day I just want to I always say we stand at the bottom of a mountain we can't jump to the top, but there's got to be something at the top of the mountain, the most beautiful ever view ever that gets you walking up this mountain every day. What gets me up the top of the mountain is seeing everybody else shining their light like Care Bear Stare at the top of that mountain out into the world, making a difference. And that's what gets me up every single day. So if you're ready to be on the top of that mountain and take the steps to get there, please let me know. I love you all. Please, um, I just have to check the time. Please make sure that you tune in later when I'm being interviewed with Angela Lari about the magical business method. It does go live on Amazon tomorrow. So please don't be afraid to help me uh, launch this. If you would like to uh, see an interview tomorrow with myself and 10 other authors, there will be free books available uh, tomorrow as well. And it's live at theauthorcastle.com. I can't... Um, I love you all so much and I'm so grateful and honored that you come on this journey with me and for those who allow me to help ignite their stardust, ah, thank you. Have a magical, magical Wednesday.